Well, hello, boys and girls. Um, this is gonna be a, uh, a little bit of a different video than I normally uh do. Well, not really different, different, but you know what I mean. It's gonna be different from the ones that um I normally be doing on the channel because uh for the fact that um I technically don't really have gameplay of Last of Us Two on my PC. Nope. I don't have the equipment to record, you know, console stuff, so. I'll most likely be using a still image or a uh, a video from somebody else. Probably credited, but it's probably gonna be a still image to be fr to be frank. Who knows? I I'll, I'll do it in in post. But I've been making this video. Um, if you can't tell by the title, um, right now it is uh, I'm gonna be talking about The Last of Us Part Two. Now. I'm pretty sure you've all seen the medical skeptics and, you know, you must be wondering, oh, what's, I mean, you, you guys know what's, ha what's happened in The Last of Us 2, let's be frank, everyone knows. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's, I'm gonna just flat out tell you that it's not as bad as the medical, um, medical, medical, medic, wow, medical critic, um, rank is, like, um, I just, Moments of recording of things like 33 or something around that that time. That's the user score, and let me tell you, it's not accurate to um the quality of the game. To be frank, now I um it's gonna be very hard to uh, talk about the game without you know inducing spoilers and such. So uh, I just want I'm gonna just tell you this right now that um uh, spoiler warning for Last of Us Two. It's still kind of a new game but you guys probably have seen the news you know and, and see how much buzz it's been getting but uh yeah get the time to uh, talk about uh spoiling um last of us too and telling you how it's not as bad as everybody says it is i mean not it's not as bad as the medical critic um critic says it is so um the main the main thing I have seen, um, that's, you know, people, that people are upset about, if you guys didn't know, is, you know, Joel, Joel biting it, Joel getting killed. Now, when I first, uh, I, like, so, I, me and my friend, Mr. Bloodshot, Chris, we tried our absolute best to avoid any, in any, um, any spoiler whatsoever. We didn't, we didn't look at the the leaks we didn't look at any trailers we just um went by with with no issue whatsoever and um joel getting killed like that via golf club within the first i don't know like i don't know like two hours or yeah i would say in the first like two two and a half hours of the game or one it's it's pretty um it sucks, I'm gonna be very frank, it, it sucks, it sucks. Now, I understand that, you know, that's part of the reason why, um, people are, are upset. Another reason I'm um, pertaining to Joel is, you know, how he died. You know, um, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna say that Joel is a beloved character who, who's a very good, good man, because let's be honest, in Last of Us 2, he, he murdered people super hard for his own gain. Which, I don't blame in the zombie apocalypse, 100%. No, there's no way fans are much about it. He could have been a lot worse. You you fight a lot worse um, in Last of Us 1. So, Joel, Joel wasn't an amazing person. You know, everybody knows this. You played the game. Or you, you watch videos of it. But, a lot of people say that he did not deserve to die in that way that quickly. To be killed via a new character um via a golf club near his own um near his home it now this is where i agree um joe um joe's a, a not beloved character but he's a well-known character who's pretty good um all around and uh having him die that quickly without any that i don't so I don't know um, if the trailers hinted at this at all because I didn't watch any of them, none at all. Try to stay away from that completely. 
So, um, there's I, one reason why, you know, Joel, um, one reason why Joel, uh, why the games rated so poorly, and that is because, you know, Joel dies, you know, in such a way like that. Now, I understand people getting upset about, upset about that, but what I don't understand is, you know, that one event ruining a, what appears to be a 10 hour game. It's it's very it's a very long single player game. Now I I see a whole lot of people um specifically uh I believe critical or whatever name um talking about the plot, saying that oh it beats you over the head of you know revenge is bad revenge is bad revenge is bad you know um, which I personally don't agree with. It's not really revenge is bad. It I believe um I'm gonna be talking about another YouTuber <laughs> right now um. Talking about Marcus kind of nails it on the head a little bit better. Um, um, generally, um, it's not about you know, event stories about you know Ellie learning to forgive um, Abby about you know, murdering Joel, and uh, learning to forgive rather than you know, revenge. Because if you guys haven't noticed, um, any character who you know seeks out revenge in this in the story kind of gets their ass blown out a little bit. For instance, Abby kills Joel. Um, Abby loses, you know, her team, all of her friends, you know, the trust of lots of people in general. Uh, and, uh, when Abby, I mean, when Ellie tries to, you know, kill, because, you know, Ellie, when Abby try, when Ellie, God, names are hard. <laughs> when Ellie, again, um, tries to kill Abby, she loses, you know, I forget his name. So, Jesse, Jesse, there we go. Yeah, names are very hard, guys. It, it's also very hard when you don't have a script and, you know, you're just freeballing this right now because you decided to record this before, beforehand. Um, on a whim, for the most part, I would say. Normally, I kind of have a script or, you know, think of a script before I actually record the audio. But now, it's a little unprofessional, but, you know, it's just, just go with it. Just go with it. So, yeah, Jesse loses, um... Ellie loses Jesse, um, Joe's brother loses, you know, his wife, um, not in that order, I mean, but, you know, he, after, you know, getting shot in a specific area, um, I, I honestly didn't know where, but it was enough to give him a limp and, you know, a bad eye, um, so he couldn't really do a whole lot, he's not. I mean, being a cripple in the zombie apocalypse is basically a death sentence in anyway, so there's that. Ellie also eventually loses, um, fucking fingers, um, at, at some point, so she can't even play the guitar that like Joel taught her to. It's, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff that's, that's been going on. Uh, also, speaking of Rich Isaac, you know, trying to seek revenge on, you know, the whole... The uh, seraphites or the scars, whatever you want to call them, he loses, you know, his life and his entire company. Pretty sure we don't know how um that assault on the island goes, but I'm, I would I would assume the way the last recording, our last audio recording thing happened, they lost, and she's also dead. There's that, so it's more lines of you know forgiving, you know, the, the death of someone and not going like. Obsessing over it. So uh, there's that. So there's um. But that being said, I'm not gonna um sit here and tell you that Last of Us Two is an amazing like um once in a lifetime video game because you know it does have its problems. Um. Besides, me personally, me personally, um, it gets very very dark in that game. Um, during certain levels, to the point where I have to turn up the brightness to. N absurd amount because I don't know if I don't know if it's just me or if it's um or other people have this problem but when I have but when I'm playing in dark like closed off areas with no like sunlight coming through I get lost easily and so that was a little bit of an issue for me during um some of, some of my playthrough but um besides you know it have um also, besides, you know, The Last of Us having a pretty fucking slow start, having to do, um, generator, um, quest, you know, opening a bridge, 
trying to get gas. It's a pretty slow start, to be frank. And uh, not um, it doesn't sell the game doesn't sell you hard like um in the first like couple hours, which is a con which I will one hundred percent agree with. It's like I said, this video isn't about you know sucking Last of Us 2's dick because let's be honest. Everyone else did that with how many people bought the game. Even though everyone, even though so many YouTubers and people on, on Twitter were like, Oh man, I can't wait for everybody to cancel the pre-order sales of this game. Blah, 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 blah. And, um, turns out it's the best on the art game of all time. Congratulations, guys. You are so smart and you know what the gamers want. Ugh. <laughs> And also, besides, um, besides, you know, the whole gamer thing, um, let's talk about, you know, the medical critic. I mean, besides, you know, people complaining about Joel being dead, a lot of those, um, a lot of the reviews, like, I'm gonna be very frank with you, if a game is, you know, 30% like that, and it's a very, very, very popular game, you probably shouldn't, um, the user review, you probably shouldn't pay too much attention to that, to be frank. Because it's a very popular thing, and people are, when they see someone do a, a very popular thing, everyone wants wants to do it. They are, this game got review bombed hard. Won't change the fact that, you know, the game, you know, sold billions of dollars, sold billions of copies. And most of the reviews are pretty, just generally bad, you know. One of them says, oh, I hate gay people, blah, blah, blah. This gameplay and graphics are completely awful. Really? Last of Us 2, a Naughty Dog game, has awful graphics? Now, it's... I, now, I'm not, you know, end-all, be-all about, you know, graphics and such, but I'm going to be very frank with you. If you, think that, if you think, you know, this game has very bad graphics, then you should probably, you know, get your eyesight checked, you know, maybe... Go into a doctor and see if you're legally blind or something because this game looks gorgeous. There's there's no way fans or buts about it. At this point in time, if you actually say that um this game looks bad, you're just objectively wrong. Let's be frank. Let's be honest, dude. It's so dumb. Mocap's amazing. Voice acting's amazing. Like everybody looks great. It's a I don't understand why why people like wanna make dumb um reviews like that just to be like everybody else in review bomb. This otherwise, oh, pretty nice game. I'm gonna be, again, frank with you. I understand that the story isn't really your cup of tea. Um, and this is a very story, um, uh, story heavy game. And yeah, I understand that people are. Some people, um, just, um, because of that reason, won't, won't play this game. But there are also some people that just say that the gameplay doesn't matter, um, in a story heavy game. Now, that doesn't make any sense, period. Because I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like I'm um, in a video game. Gameplay matters a lot, and this gameplay is very good, very, very good. Um, it builds off of you know Last of Us One, you know cover system. Like one one gripe I have is you know it's very hard to be you know very stealthy, but you know that's 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 not. Um, too, too bad, to be frank. But besides that whole, like, debacle, I'm gonna be very honest, it's not, it's not too, too bad, you know. Killing people, it's, it still feels very nice. Um, fighting humans generally is better than fighting infected. I'm gonna be, that's my opinion on, on that. It's not. Certain, certain infected were, were good and certain infected were bad, you know. Um, bloaters and samblers, that were pretty good, you know, addition. Fucking stalkers were awful. I'm sorry, it's, that's, I don't like stalkers at all. It's, it's very bad, you know, having an enemy type that doesn't fight you immediately. He just looks at you a little bit and then you have to, like, then you have to, like, wait or chase him after him just so you can not worry about him and explore like a normal person. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm sorry. What is my mic doing right now? It's, it's very stiff. Oh. But besides that, gameplay is very good. Melee, very good. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um uh it happened to me once. Um 
there was a moment where I killed everybody. Uh, I I killed all the Seraphites in there except for one, and I saw him in the leg, and he had some little dialogue. Um. Uh, a lot. This happens. This happens to a lot of people. Um, all humans. You know, the Seraphites, the the fox, or the third different um faction that you fight at the very end of the game, which is kind of weirdly placed. I don't know why that's a thing. But eh, it's it's fine. They all are very interesting and unique. Um, I'm pleased if you know I don't want to die. Don't kill me. Blah 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 blah. It's very interesting, and I very very much like that way. Like like that. At this like at this point, you revolving this game isn't gonna do anything to it because Naughty Dog already made billions of dollars. I understand that you know ah uh, ah uh, the leak was. Probably because of, um, you know, a quote-unquote, you know, m mad Naughty Dog, um, uh, employee, or, it's, like, I don't know what to believe at this point, because some say it's a, um, mistreated Naughty Dog employee, some say it was just normal ass hacker, like, it's not, it's not very, it's not, it's not, it's, I, I don't know what to believe at this point, because let's be honest, even if it was, um, and they got fired, you know. I'm pretty sure they missed on, you know, an after, you know, game bonus because it sold billions of dollars and it made Donald Dog lots of money. So they're prob so either way, it's gonna even if um you're upset about the you know, the game, you know uh even if you're upset about, you know, the game mistreating you, you got fired and it still made billions of dollars. Um uh, so what if the medical critic is, you know, bad at this point. Now I'm thinking with I'm think that's the way of, you know, an EA employee or an EA company being it doesn't matter if the game is bad as long as we get fucking get the money, everything's all good. It's like I don't think Naughty Dog's like that, um, in general, but think of it as a, you know think of it as a, you know a logistic a logistic um standpoint. Naughty Dog wins no matter what. Um, yeah, I mean, people, um, people have lost respect for Naughty Dog at this point in time, and, uh, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about it, but to be frank with you, um, to be very blatantly honest, like, p the gamer, uh, mentality is, the gamer mentality, Jesus, people who play video games a lot, they're kind of assholes, I'm gonna be very frank with you, I'm not... To other people, but to people who make video games in general, they want, they don't want games to be delayed. They want the games to be perfect. They want the games to be mind blowing every single time. They will sit on a video game if they don't like what's happened. They will send death threats to Laura Bailey for just playing a character. It's people. I mean, I I don't want like I'm technically a part of it, but I'm not. I know. I, I play video games a lot, as you can tell by my channel, but I'm not one of those people who just flat out send death threats and and complains about it super hard online. It's uh, like, I'm going to play the video game. If I enjoy it, I enjoy it. I'm, I only buy things that I, th I feel like I'm going to enjoy, and I enjoy this video game. It's not that bad, to be frank. It's n it's n it definitely doesn't deserve a fucking 33 on Metacritic. Let's be honest, guys. Think about it for more than a few moments, my dude. It's so funny. It's so fucking funny seeing the comments on people. The comments of people, you know, shit talking this game. Um, like other like like other YouTubers, YouTubers did. One of the comments talked about, "Oh, this is a zombie movie. So why? So why did Naughty Dog completely forget about, you know, people, you know, getting bitten, you know, um, finding zombies? Which is very funny because I guess they didn't play the game at all either because, well, there are specific scenes where infected are literally fighting, um, humans while Ellie watches and they get bit completely. Ellie gets bit, like, at the very end of the game, which it doesn't matter because she's immune. Like, people have gotten bit, period. I don't understand why you, you guys just don't play the game. And just mindlessly hate uh, on it. Like, I don't understand. If you don't, if you didn't watch or play the game, 
why are you why are you giving your opinion on something um like it? I don't understand. If you don't if you haven't touched the medium, then your opinion kinda doesn't matter to be frank. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't watched it, if you haven't played it, you just see bits and pieces and, you know, meme on it like other people do, your opinion really doesn't matter, to be frank. Like, I understand, um, you know, not being able to, you know, play the game, uh, entirely, um, because, you know, it's a $6 game, it's, it costs a lot of money, you know, and, you know, at this time when the, when the pandemic and everyone's losing their jobs, you know, not everyone can afford, you know, video games. But if you can't watch it or watch any of the cutscenes or, you know, watch the gameplay, it's, your opinion continues to fall. Like, not being able to play the gameplay, that's a pretty, um, your review is not gonna, um, gonna get hit by it. But, um, not watching, you know, things happen, that's, um, it, it, it just becomes less and less, you know, impactful if you don't, you know, play the video game that you're reviewing. The gameplay review of. Now, I'm not going to, you know, give this, you know, IGN 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It's it's a, it's a good game, but, like, it's not amazing. There are flaws and, you know, um, like any video game has. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it definitely doesn't deserve a fucking 33. Like, on a good day, it's an 8 out of 10. On a bad day, on a really bad day, where shit's just not ha- happening, it's a... It's a 6.5, 6.9 out of 10. On an average day, 7.9. My friend rates it a little bit higher because, you know... I, I don't know why, but... <laughs> I, I, I'm not my... I'm not... I'm not Chris. I'm not Mr. Blood, so I don't know... I don't know how he thinks. I mean, I'm, we're, we're very good friends, but... It's... I don't know how he thinks, so... He's, oh, he's also very... He's also a lot better at this game than I am, so... His enjoyment was probably... Um, based on gameplay more often than mine, but, um, yeah, another con about this game is that it's very fucking depressing, <laughs> which, which is, which is fine, um, that being, um, that being said about, you know, it being depressing and how you're, you know, killing people, um, Naughty Dog didn't have to, you know, put out all those statements of, oh, we made our employees watch, you know, 85 hours of, you know, Brutal like snuff films and sweet, you know, and we're making a statement that oh man, you killing a dog is very bad and blah 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 blah. Like it's a video game, guys. I don't. That was very unnecessary on Naughty Dog's part, to be frank. Like at the end of the day, you killing a dog does not make you in, you killing a dog in a video game. I have to clarify that does not make you a very bad person. Um, it's a part of the game. Ellie literally kills a dog. Um, in a cutscene, so there's no way you can avoid it, my dude. I don't know why Naughty Dog decided to, you know, make the player feel bad, but either way, that didn't work. Um, but yeah, this game doesn't deserve a fucking 33 on medical, meta, Metacritic. Watch or play the game before you, you know, judge it. Just because you, you know, read some spoilers doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. My dude... Think of the overall game rather than just one moment. That's what reviews are supposed to be. An overall like um thing um review of the game, not just, you know, one fucking moment. Now, I'm gonna be very frank, dude. Like it's gonna it's hard to do that. Because you have to review gameplay. Um gameplay. <laughs> uh cutscenes. Graphics. You know, glitches, sound design, like music, blah blah blah. There's so much you have to like take in, take into account. Like this is an unedited like um review, and this is fucking twenty fucking five minutes at this point, or twenty four. Looking at my, it's probably gonna be a little bit more than twenty twenty four or twenty five. And I haven't even touched on you know sound design and and how and how good that is. It's reviewing games are is hard, but you know. Just, you know, saying, I hate gay people on Metascore, um, or, they're forcing, forcing diversity, or, you know, Abby doesn't look like, um, a big titted, um, you know, woman that, uh, like, I don't like the way that Abby looks. 
Now, I understand that, you know, that's your opinion, but to drag a game down like that overall because, you know, character design and, you know, one girl kisses another girl because, you know, big lesbians, it's like, it's kind of, it makes you sound fucking dumb to just mindlessly hate something like that. But, but yeah, I'm going to be very frank, this game, I will reiterate my, my initial thing. It doesn't deserve a fucking 33 on meta score. It's it's a decent game. And to be frank, if you haven't played Last of Us 1, play Last of Us 1 Remastered. It's probably pretty cheap. Um, And <clears throat> if you want to watch your favorite character, I mean, the main character die, and, you know, you play uh, um, his daughter, play Last of Us 2. Oh, well, uh, it's a it's a very good game. <clears throat> my voice is, you know, my 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 voice was you know, dying there. Overall, it's a very good game, but um, it has its problems. Eight out of ten, seven out of ten, six to to eight out of ten, depending on how what I feel that day. It's not as bad as you think, guys. <laughs> well. It was a very, this is a very distorted, you know, review, but next time, hopefully, I'll be reviewing something else that I have gameplay of myself. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoy your day. Stay safe. Stay inside. Drink water. <laughs> I don't know where I came from, but uh, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.